Okay, time to pull the star head off. This is going to get interesting. Um, I haven't read the service manual much on this. Um, I have printed the pages, but it's about 60 or well, 80 pages or so uh, for just dismantling this whole thing. I don't want to dismantle this whole thing. I just want to. Well, I want to take it. Off. I want to take the whole thing off. I just don't want to break the whole thing down. Hmm. Looking at the bottom of this board, one of the caps is, uh, ceramic caps has had a bad day. And uh, this connector on the end here, dark on The board underneath it looks like it's had a lot of karma sound running through. Oh, it's resistors. The uh, resistors next to X21 have also had a bad day. They've uh, darkened that board quite a lot. I wonder if the deceleration resistors or something. Because uh, that section of the board there is really quite dark. Um, okay, so I think it's one bolt on this side from the front and two bolts here. I could be horribly wrong. But anyway, uh, I need to get all the airlines off first. Many airlines. I don't know if order matters. <laughs> uh, but the two airlines closest to me go to the IC head uh, with the longest cable going to the one down here, the one next to the motor, the shortest cable going to the Y connector. Uh, so the next airline along from me is going to the bottommost valve. Then the airline next to that is going to a Y connection. Um, which goes to the second topmost venturi and to this serial NR, I'm guessing it's a manufacturing brand, or a series number perhaps, or a serial number of course, never mind. Uh, some sort of Festo device. Let's uh, feed it out of the way. Okay, that gives me a little bit more room to work. Um, I'm going to pull this off at the wire connector. So the fourth from me, from the ice, from the ice and head, goes to a wire connector. This is all cable tied together and very, very tight. A lot of room to get leverage. Oh, the barbed white connected here. It's unbelievably tight. I think I'm actually going to break that before I get that off. Um, in which case, <laughs> I will actually pull it off. So that's the second from the top there and there is a connection I'm going to need. <laughs> Ideally, the right socket for, so I'm not going to bother with that. There's some nothing in the rest of the way. The wire connector is going into here as well. So the wire connector free and the nut. So get that off. Second last is going to be third from the top, and the last one is going to the top most one. Okay, so that's airlines. Three from most of them, actually. So this solenoid, yeah, it's going to be a solenoid. Okay, so the solenoid goes down to the head as well, and it's got another line going off. Somewhere behind the camera, I can't see. That's not good. Uh, in any case, I'll be pulling the small blue line off the top and the large blue line off the bottom of it. Looks like it's going free pretty easily. Next, can I 
shoulders. Got XA 10 going to the head, we've got X 26 going to the head, X 20 going to the head, potentially. Oh, no, uh, yep, that one goes down there. X 27 goes to the solenoid on the head. I'll leave that for now. Um, X 9 is the motor encoder for the red axis. X 17 is going on. Somewhere in there. There's a very little connection to this now. The back of this is pretty simple. Um, we've got two TI-74A7 and an ED7S. No, there's one of those and one 76AE3FF. Just that for now. So that's X27 as the solenoid. I was going to put that off to one side. Uh, okay, so that is the head disconnected. So I've got my two screws in here, I think. Of course, they're going to be the two and a half millimeter wrench which you're missing. Uh, which makes me want to use an imperial socket, but they're all too big. Someone sees the M2.5. The other place fit in the period off, not really, but better than nothing. Nope, the thread lock on there is too much for that. I'm going to have to find a socket. Okay, so now that Potentially used to get this in, they're not too strict, they look pretty rounded off in there. Both of them do. No, oh, oh, that one came off pretty easily. Next. Okay, it's coming too. Huh. Leaving a bit behind. Always a good choice. Okay, so now around the front, we just have one. It's a difficult one to get out. Um, hopefully it's a three. That is probably not going. Look at this thing. Quite five, I was going to start it. It's for me, yeah. It does appear to be on perhaps some sort of mountain plate.
step five three. Excuse me while I block the view completely. And here yeah, looks like this is the third bowl. So back to my original idea of trying to pull the whole head off. I think. Okay, so this is where we're at now. One of the uh, screws, the small one over here, stayed retained in the head. Uh, so now this is the star head backside. <laughs> So these machines are actually right up against my desk and the office. My desk is behind, so yeah. Uh, which makes life interesting, because I get a pretty nice view. Uh, so, I have a bolt there, I have a bolt there, I have a bolt there. Let's pull those out and see what happens. feeders again. I lost one other screw into the feeders from the top of the electronics plate. Okay, it's two. And there's nothing to fall off this one. So uh, this is where the screwdriver motors are down here. If you're looking for a reference from the previous Starhead video, Z-axis, uh, screwdrivers, Venturi's at the top. Venturi filters last changed over 13 years ago. All right, so hopefully this should just come free. Uh, one sensor cable going up to the head from the gantry, two sensor cables, so the barrow cables are bolted to this on the side. Other than that, it's pretty good. Remaining on the head. 
So that's the rest of my star drive, which you cannot get off. Can't get this plate off, as far as I'm aware, without taking the star drive off. The star head, rather. This thing is not into that vessel. So this is my magnetic encoder reader. It's kind of cool. Uh, so these are going on to the bell. Ah, oh, okay, so you'd undo those two and then open them up to get the belt, or to move this on the belt. Um, so, if I'm going to build my own head for this, this is great, the electronics mount stays on here. Uh, I just need to build a head which fits onto this pattern. Um, we've got one, two, three, that one as well. We've got a heap of screws if we can use for mounting. Um, we probably go with like that one, that one, and that one. And stick an open PNP head on the front there. And we've got ourselves a pick and place machine. And we can put another one on the other side. So we can keep four heads. <laughs>